last year at this time during the baseball season, when the Padres season was long over and had fallen apart, I can remember saying this on the air. I hate this team. Mm -hmm. I hate them. You I said that all last year. I, I And I'm not embarrassed to tell you. I hated the team. I was yeah. happy they were losing. I I hated the entire makeup of the situation. Right. I I didn't like Bob Melvin as the manager. I didn't like the relationship that he had with certain players. Mm -hmm. And 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 guys like Juan Soto, who's had a monster year for the Yankees, um, a guy like Josh Hader, and, and I'll just say this, Juan Soto was playing for Juan Soto's contract. And Josh yes. Hader was playing for Josh Hader's contract. And those guys, in my opinion, were selfish. They weren't about the team. And they were a big part, part of the problem with last year's team. Now, for those of you that are listening around the country that don't know the story, here it goes. Josh Hader was an excellent, excellent closer and came to the Padres as a re with a reputation of being the best closer in baseball when he got here. When the Padres needed him, hey, Josh, we're going to send you out there in the eighth. We need you to get one out in the eighth, and then we need you to come back, and we need you to close this thing up in the ninth. Mm -hmm. Josh Hader was the kind of player that, and I'm not joking here, refused, refused. No, 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 I don't do that. What do you mean you don't? Mm -hmm. I don't warm up, get a guy out in the eighth, go sit down and put on a jacket in the dugout and come back out for the ninth. Why not? Because I'm playing for a contract. And I don't think you guys are going to give me that contract. So I'm not giving you everything I got to try and win. And yeah. as a result, we hated him. And by the way, so right. the players now did also I don't forget also don't yes you missed one part he also ahead. wouldn't pitch three days in a row correct that was a big one too that was that was a which, very big one too which tanked the season last year in san francisco because that's the point where everything started to unravel yep. right so now hater comes back to san diego yes. and and people you know because we don't see the astros very often here in san diego once you know, a year uh, yeah, or yeah. once every other year yeah american league team which, by the way, for me, I grew up, the Astros were a National League team. It always still freaks me out. But we don't see the Astros. So for mm -hmm. Hader to come back to San Diego, even though it's a year later, it is part of the story. Mm -hmm. So do you want to hear from Josh Hader first, or do you want to see what Joe Musgrove said? Cause, cause Musgrove, no, we got to play Josh Hader first. Okay, because Musgrove is very much the brand ambassador to the Padres. Yeah. All right, I think we've set it up. Even if you're, you know, not local in San Diego or Southern California, you get the story, you understand the venom. Go ahead and play with Josh Hader. It was this, this is Josh Hader Tuesday night after coming in for a four out save, something he refused to do in San Diego, right? Blowing the save, but the Astros still getting the win. Here's Josh Hader. What he said. Yeah, I mean, I, I love this ballpark. I, I love pitching here. Obviously, uh, I, I love the booze. Living rent free is is always a good time. It was kind of ironic, you got. We're called upon to get four outs here today. <laughs> <laughs> enough said. All right, enough said, he said. Look, mm -hmm. he came in in the, in the eighth inning. It was the bottom of the eighth. I want to say the Padres were down 2-1 at that time. They tied the game off of Hader, got it to 2-2. You'll have to check me for 100% accuracy. Yeah. So yeah. it got to 3-3? Three, three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and he blows the save. Mm -hmm. And the reporters put it to him. Finally, somebody's got a set of freaking balls in this town to go in there and actually ask him something. And he's he doesn't even want to he doesn't even want to talk about it. Right. So what Joe Musgrove said, though, really I think encapsulized the entire situation. Right. This is like before we get to what he said last night, this is from April when Robert Suarez started the season. I believe three of his first four appearances for the Padres were multi-inning saves this season. This is what Joe Musgrove said in April about Josh Hader. Having a closer that you can go out there and rely on for more than just three outs is, is huge to us here. So he's always willing to take the ball, and, and uh, we're grateful. We're grateful and, for and it. We're grateful for that. Right. So do we have enough time right here in this segment to show yeah, you what Musgrove said last night? Yeah. We've got about okay. 60 seconds here. Here's okay. what Joe Musgrove said last night. Typically, if you're going to make those decisions, this is speaking about Josh Hader. If you're going to make those decisions, you're doing that so you, that you can be healthy and fresh, and you can do that at the end of the year when it matters. And when we needed him the most, he wasn't available. So I think that upset a few guys, but it's part of the game. Hader was a good teammate. He was always there for the guys. He took care of the guys well. He worked extremely hard. He had a really good team. He was consistent. But I think when it came down to it, 
We hoped he would give us a little more in situations where we needed him to be there. I don't know Josh Hader from a can of paint. Looks like a nice enough guy, big old smile, really nice white teeth, okay? Mm -hmm. And maybe really, really a great closer, even though I never saw him be as great as advertised, okay? Same goes for Juan Soto. Juan Soto's had an amazing year for the Yankees. He was never this great for the Padres. Let me just say this, though. I freaking hate Josh Hader. Oh. Okay? Yeah. Whoa. Right? I freaking hate that guy. I don't mean like as a regular dude. I don't know the guy. So I you one of those rent-free people? Well, yeah. You know, he says, well, I, living rent-free is great. Screw you, living rent-free. Brother, let me tell you something right now. When you are on a team, you give that team everything you got. And when a team says to you, hey, you're our closer, you're the best guy we got, we need you to go get the last out in the eighth, and we need you to come back and get three outs in the ninth, and a guy looks at a manager and goes, no, why not? Because I'm saving my arm for when I can get to free agency and make a lot of money. I'm not taking the risk of hurting myself for you guys when you guys aren't going to pay me. I understand the business side of why he would think that way, but I can't live with that. Because I know I would never do that. I'm a team guy. I'm all about giving everything I got for my team. And Josh Hader is not that kind of guy. And I thought just Joe Musgrove put it perfectly. If you put the quote back up on the screen, Joe Musgrove essentially said he wasn't going to give us everything he got. He was a good teammate to the guys in the clubhouse. But when we absolutely needed him, he wasn't going to be there for us. I thought yeah. Musgrove put it perfectly. What do you guys say? I think that if Joe Musgrove saying that publicly, what are they saying in the clubhouse? 